What's up, my dudes? Hot diggity damn, boys. We got to get in there and have a little discussion, okay? About this whole whip and scrub to MXGP 2021. All right. So, first things first, what it's probably going to be, okay, this is how these milestone games, especially the MXGP games, what they normally are. Everything about the physics of the game, like the jump physics, air physics, corner physics, whip physics, shit physics, uh, you know, all the physics, okay? <laughs> Typically what they are is they're a combination of the previous MXGP game and the previous Supercross game. So, what MXGP 2021's physics system and whip system and all that, what it's probably going to be more like is like you combined Supercross 4's physics with MXGP 2020's physics system. That's basically what, what it always is with these milestone games, you know? But if you look at the trailer of MXGP 2021, they show the whip... For literally a split second, the only time they show a whip in the entire trailer, it's literally for a split second, dog. I'm talking instantaneous, okay? In third person, totally away from the bike, like this weird third zoomed out third person, like you're coming, across, coming over the finish line or something, right? It doesn't, they don't even actually show the whip from the proper behind the rider third person. Here's what the whips are going to look like in MXGP 2021. Here's what it is, right? There's none of that in the trailer, okay? And, and this is a big thing right here. Like, Milestone. Before we can even look at the whips or test the whips or figure out what's going on with the whips or anything, you're going to have to start making your jumps bigger. You're going to have to start making the scaling of your tracks bigger. Or we can't even properly look at the whip system of your game, okay? It's like it's gotten to, to the point with these MXGP games it's almost like it's not even worth throwing a whip or trying to scrub over a jump or trying to, you know, trying to do any of that on any jump of any track of MXGP 2020. It's like, why would you even do it? Why would you even attempt to throw a whip? The jumps are not even really big enough. It, it, it's not even really keeping you low enough to the ground or any, it's not doing anything like that. There's just no point in even doing it. That's basically what it feels like it's gotten to with these MXGP games. Even on the one and only free ride track, dog, listen to this shit. The one and only free ride track on MXGP 2020, I swear to God, it's hard to even find a single jump on the entire free ride compound that you can actually properly throw the whip and look at the whip and throw it far enough backwards, throw it far enough sideways. It's a literal challenge. It is a actual challenge to find a proper jump to even get enough air time to even look at the whips of MXGP 2020. What, like, what is this? <laughs> I mean, literally, what is this, dog? Where are the days of the unleashed and untamed and reflex where you get on the free ride tracks and there's like 200 foot whip it all the way backwards. I mean, that's that used to be where you really tested out the whip physics of a game. You know, you would hop on the free ride tracks and hit some massive, you know, 300 foot dune jump or something like that and, and really test the physics out. But I swear with these MXGP games, it's like they're, they're taking their game too seriously, you know, especially in the free ride compounds. Like they're trying to make it like this realistic little wannabe enduro looking sections and but they're totally forgetting about the whole free ride big jump 
jump fun factor. It, it just doesn't have any of that. And even the split second, you know, areas where you might be able to find that on the free ride track of MHGB 2020, it's like they build the terrain so weird and so janky, or there's like a little rock object at the top, or there's a fence object. There's always some obstacle that makes it to where you can't really get enough speed up to this particular hill jump or what would be a cool free ride jump. It's like you can't even hit it in the first place because of all the random ass objects or the random ass clipping of the terrain at the top of a hill. Oh, man alive. I've never seen anything like these these modern day MXGP games, boy. <laughs> They're one of a kind, let me tell you. And the, the biggest problem with all this is from all the gameplay that I've seen on this MXGP 2021 shit, it all just looks like the exact same crap. You know, it looks like the same small jump, small scaling not even a big enough jump to even be worth throwing a whip on in the first place. I'm seeing all those same things that I saw with MXGP 2020. I'm seeing it in the early gameplay of MXGP 2021. I just am, bro. And, and you know, it's one thing when you go to the Supercross games, like if you go to the free ride compound of Supercross 3, if any guys remember that one, that one actually did have a couple of fun little areas where you could really get some air time and really test out the physics and, and shit like that, right? Oh, by the way, look, another little example of T-Sipper the Predictor, okay? Ever since like MXGP2, okay, I've been telling Milestone to to put in the, where you can turn both your thumbsticks the same direction to throw a whip, instead of being forced to throw, to turn both your thumbsticks the opposite directions to whip, you know, like it always was in those early day milestone motocross games, right? And I can't tell you the amount of hate I got for that, the amount of backlash I got from the Milestone fanboys talking about, what do you mean, Spencer? It takes so much more skill to turn both your thumbsticks the opposite direction. It's, it's, Milestone's doing something cool and different, bro. Oh, really? That's funny because, uh, you know, you do realize they did change their games to exactly what I told them to back in MXGP2. You do realize they did change their games in, I think it was Supercross 3, where they finally added the turning both the thumbsticks the same direction to throw a whip, like you would in Reflex or Alive or any of these other modern day motocross games, right? Uh, well, if I was so wrong about that, then why did they change it? <laughs> why did they change it, dog? I'm telling you, I mean, there's been so many things I've said so, so far ahead of time, so many years ahead of time, and then Milestone will finally put it in there. Three or four games later, they'll finally do it, you know. MXGP 2025, we may finally get actual proper arcade game track scaling to their games, okay? MXGP 2024, we may finally get some kind of actual terrain deformation. But, <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, literally, that's to the point we're at right now. Uh, but, yeah, it's just... That's my biggest thing, though, with these, like, MXGP 2020, MXGP 2019. It's like the track scaling is so damn small. It's just got to the point where it's not even worth trying to whip. It's not even worth your time trying to throw the whip and bring it back around because the jump is too small. And, and it's like they're kind of getting into this. I've noticed something with the physics with MXGP 2020. It's like they're getting into more of this heavy feeling to the physics. Like when you jump off the ground, it's like hard to even get the bike off of the ground in the game, anywhere in the game, because of how heavy they're starting to make the physics feel. You know, it's not like you jump up off of a jump face and then you're in the air and you kind of have that, you know, air physics. Then you have that. Um, you know, inertia and momentum that brings you back down. It doesn't really feel like that. It feels like you've just got this heaviness. You jump off the ground and then before you know it, bam, you're right back on the ground, right? You've got to have more of an air physics feeling to these games, Milestone. Y you've got to do it, bro. And, you know, I would sit here and talk about all the things you should do with the whip physics, but the problem is I can't even fucking really look at them or review them or anything with the way that they are with MXGP 2020, 
because the jumps are too small. The scaling is too small. I can't even look at it to even tell you what to do with the next game. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I can't even... I can't even test the shit out anymore. I can't even look at it anymore. I can't even show it off anymore. I can't even review it or test it or look at it or anything anymore. It's pretty sad when you can't even... Oh, Milestone's got a big brain on them. They're thinking real deep. Let's... Well, you know what? People keep p complaining about our whip physics because, uh, you know, our whip physics don't have enough variation. They're static, stale, repetitive, hit a button, play an animation. And everybody's complaining about the whip physics. Free the whips, right? Hashtag free the whips. So, you know what we're going to do? We're not going to put a jump big enough in our entire fucking game to even really allow you to actually properly throw a whip and bring it back around and, and it be worth doing in the game. Oh, yeah. That's what we need to do, bro. That's the solution. There we go.